हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मिजो स्टडी एंड टुडे व्हाट एग्जैक्टली वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट इज स्लाइटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम योर रेगुलर लेक्चर actually uh, we hope that till now you must have revised your this topic that is electromagnetic induction fine emi a very important topic of class 12th for uh, exam point of view so we decided let's uh, start the discussion of the questions based specifically upon j e main pattern fine so this exercise is going to be continue every time we will come in front of you in a form of new videos maybe five questions maybe 10 questions idea is to give you an opportunity to check and revise your basics and also learn how to tackle the problems in actual exam conditions fine so motive over here not to explain the solution of the problem no not at all but motive is to guide you how to read the problem how to understand the problem and then how to correctly reach to the proper solution okay so here one by one i'll start this uh, discussion problems explanations and so on so forth fine <coughs> and uh, don't worry uh, all the solutions of these questions is also present in your ebook so at any point of time you can take a look of those solutions also so this is your first question fine so what exactly the approach is first we will try to understand the question and then accordingly one by one we will provide the solution and check which one is the correct option now an electron is moving in a circular orbit of radius capital r with angular acceleration alpha i think this line required no further explanation if you just read this line visualization is very easy for this fine at the center of the orbit is kept a conducting loop of radius r okay now i think i should draw a diagram after reading this line fine the emf induced in the smaller loop due to the motion of the electron so first thing is that let me draw the diagram for this second line at this available space fine so for the time being if the lines are not visible just don't take pen it's going to be like this way okay electron is revolving and this circular is the loop this circular uh, shape is the loop what exactly the cause of induced electromotive force obviously the circular motion of the electron because electron has charge and what is the charge of the electron that you can easily mention by small e or q okay now r is the radius of this orbit of this electron and at the center is kept a conducting loop of radius small r when small r is very very less than capital r it means imagine the situation let's say this is the zone where this circular loop is placed so electron is revolving outside like this fine this is the situation so let's try to find out the solution of this particular problem obviously the formula we are going to use is simple result that is this is is equal to uh, a d phi by dt this result so this is our basic result again and again we will use this result during the discussion of the problems fine so let's start this solution e or this e or this v any one may be the symbol but in general we use this small e fine while uh, the small is also uh, the charge over here so let's use this e induced electromotive force and it is a db by dt now why i am writing db by dt why i am not writing anything else reason is simple that is minus d phi b by dt basic but 
फाइव बी इज इक्वल टू बी ए ए इज द एरिया कॉन्स्टेंट बी इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड विच इज वेरिंग सो दैट्स वाई आई एम यूजिंग दिस रिलेशन आई वॉज नॉट सपोज टू राइट डाउन दिस रीजन बींग दिस इज अ वेरी फंडामेंटल थिंग बट विद दिस अजम्पन आई एम स्टार्टिंग दैट फ्यू ऑफ यू मे हैव नॉट रिवाइज फाइन नाउ बिकॉज सर्कुलर एरिया so without any difficulty i can write down pi r square in place of a okay now what about this db by dt try to recall the formula for the magnetic field produced on any uh, circular point fine so i am using direct result but if you have any confusion please stop the video over here only revise that formula then again start that if you are regularly watching our videos this is something which is very properly explained fine and that's why i normally used to request all of you be regular with the concepts fine so pi r square then d by dt why because this v value is changing so what i will do i will use a bracket that is mu not upon 2r i hope now up to some extent few of you may start getting the clarity of this formula into q omega q or e let's let's use e as given in the problem fine yes answer is in e so e upon 2 pi basic result that's why i mentioned it with the different color now imagine a situation what is changing is it like that mu not changing no is it like that e changing no 2 r 2 pi everything is constant what is changing changing is this omega fine so let's try to arrange the terms is equal to pi r square then mu not e upon 4 pi r as it is okay so mu not e upon 4 pi r fine into into del upon no difference d omega by dt delta omega by dt something like that it just showing that it is changing now students go back to class 11th and what is the name of this person the name of this person is nothing but alpha and alpha is given in the problem fine angular acceleration so rather than using this blue white box we will use this relation so how exactly we can finally write down we can write down induced electromotive force is equal to pi pi cancel mu not upon 4 r square e upon r r square e upon r into alpha now let's try to find out the correct solution fine so mu not e e or uh, this r square upon 4 r into alpha so b is the correct option in this option what exactly is not present that is mu not upon 4 pi pi is extra term and that's why i use this yellow color chalk to show you that it has been cancelled fine so if you properly solve the problem the problem is very simple and basic one fine so with this note by proving that b is the correct option let's move ahead for the next problem but before that i would like to clean this space so that we can discuss next problems solution over here what exactly the next question is going to be a very curious point i know that so don't wait just move ahead now uh i hope entire diagram is clearly visible to you initially i thought i'll draw the diagram on the board using free hands then i think it's much better uh, point of representation see uh, just try to understand what exactly mentioned 
actually these cross they are nothing but representation of magnetic field which is perpendicular to this green board going inside fine general symbolic representation let us start from there a square wire loop of 10 centimeter this way side lies at right angles to a uniform magnetic field of 20 tesla b value is given and side of this square loop given a 10 volt light bulb is in a series with the loop as shown in this diagram simple the magnetic field is decreasing steadily now <clears throat> before that i would like to mention one uh, critical aspect over here for the time being just uh, hold on is equal to d phi b sorry b by dt where phi b is equal to b a cos theta now changing phi b will change if it is changing phi b will change if it is changing phi b will be changed it means out of b a and this theta if anyone is changing then phi will change and induced emf will come into picture fine so over here very clearly mentioned that magnetic field is decreasing a is same theta is same but because b is changing so obviously some amount of induced emf is going to present and that will ultimately force the bulb to lit up so the bulb will shine with full brightness if delta t is equal to time interval value of delta t and what is delta t actually delta t is that small amount of time in which magnetic field is starting from a higher value going to zero initially let's say the value of the b was for example uh, 20 tesla as it is given so it is uh, reaching to zero in a very short duration you have to find that short duration fine so again uh, the problem is simple i explained we are going to use the formula and the formula is more or less similar to the question number one fine what is that formula <clears throat> is equal to a db upon dt ultimately theta angle is not important over here because magnetic field lines are this way and this uh, this is placed in this fashion so ultimately theta is not changing if the coil itself is rotating that theta is changing so that's why i'm uh, moving out from this theta you have to find out delta t okay so delta t is equal to a d b upon this induced emf that is a d b upon induced mf fine so now let's try to put the values a is 10 into 10 to the power minus 2 into 10 into 10 to the power minus 2 fine because it is the side of a square so area of a square is l into l so a is equal to 10 into 10 into 10 to the power minus 4 we have to convert in meters fine and this value is how much and this value is how much so it is basically i should write it down like b1 sorry b2 minus b1 but there is no point of saying 20 minus 0 so directly i can use 20 fine otherwise if other value is given then max value minus minimum value then whatever the result you are getting that you have to use fine so over here it is going to be uh, 20 itself so db is equal to 20 and what about this value fine this uh, um, uh, induced emf so induced emf is 10 now put the values and solve it fine so i think i should simply put the values after <coughs> putting values after putting values we get delta t or dt as 
टू मिली सेकेंड फाइन टू मिली सेकेंड सो दिस प्रॉब्लम इज एसेंशियली बेस्ड अपॉन योर दैट प्रीवियस रिजल्ट विच जस्ट समाइम बैक आई मैंशन फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड देन बेसिक कैलकुलेशन एंड रिजल्ट इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर आईज फाइन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन चैप्टर स्टूडेंट्स इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेदर जेई एग्जाम वेदर योर नीट इंट्रेंस एग्जाम और एनी थिंग एल्स बट इफ यू हैव एनी डिफिकल्टी इन द कॉन्सेप्ट प्लीज गो थ्रू विद आर प्रीवियस वीडियोज ऑफ थ्योरी एंड आई होप यू विल फाइंड योर सेल्फ इन अ मच कंफर्टेबल पोजिशन फाइन सो हियर कम्स द नंबर फॉर द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम एंड दिस प्रॉब्लम इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री आई एम श्योर मेनी ऑफ यू मस्ट हैव सॉल्व दीज टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन अप टू सम एक्सटेंट ये इट्स अ रिविजन ऑफ शॉर्ट ऑफ दिस कॉन्सेप्ट बट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज सो इंपॉर्टेंट दैट ऑलमोस्ट ऑल टाइप ऑफ कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स इफ आर सेटर एग्जामिनर एग्जामिनेशन पेपर सेटर इज पुटिंग अ प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन देन ही और सी कॉन्ट स्टॉप हर सेल्फ और हिमसेल्फ by using these type of questions so beautiful question so let's try to understand here simple integration is approach uh, approach is usable that's it nothing difficult over here the magnetic flux moment magnetic flux terms comes into picture you should try to recall phi b okay that is magnetic flux fine so magnetic flux through a stationary loop with resistance r varies during interval of time t as phi is equal to at t minus t fine the heat generated during this time neglecting the inductance of loop will be how much now first we should try to understand the problem okay let's imagine this is a loop Sir, uh, square loop circular loop rectangular loop concept is ultimately going to be same okay now it is placed like this fine magnetic field lines are passing this way so, say for example fine towards this uh, direction now if magnetic field lines are constant in magnitude no effect okay if this uh, rectangular loop is constant not changing then theta is fixed no effect even the area is not changing remain constant but over here what is uh, given that flux itself is changing it means magnetic field lines are changing so accordingly some changes are taking place and then induced emf will come into picture and because of that induced emf induced current will flow and when the induced current will flow then heating effect uh, i would like to mention as h is equal to i square rt so basically in this question they are saying you go back to class 10th and calculate this heat energy heat uh, pro, uh, applicable in this uh, loop fine so what we will have to understand over here let's uh, try to erase this step by step i am going to provide you the solution fine is equal to d phi b by dt one thing you can realize that this formula is very important for electromagnetic induction and repeatedly close to the question i am explaining it fine so that every time the question should be in front of your eyes okay so this basic formula we are going to use and what is the value of phi it is given over here a t t minus t so let's try to put the value of phi b over here okay in this particular problem <coughs> so heat h is equal to how much i mentioned i square rt let's change this formula slightly and mention it e square upon r dt i think you should not get confused so let's say this way fine what is the meaning of this d phi by dt so square of that ultimately so you will get h is equal to a 
T, I am not doing anything, simply this term I am putting, fine. So, A T minus 2 A T whole square, fine. A T minus 2 A T, A T minus 2 A T, okay, this is small t, fine. Whole square divided by this R resistance into D T. Now, once after getting this relation, what we will do, we will make it square, break it, put it and then try to integrate it, fine. So, over here, what you will get, you will get a square plus b square minus twice a b. So, first let me write down this and this time after taking this value out, even if I move out from this space, I hope you will not mind it, fine. So, the result is going to be a square t square minus twice a uh, to 2 to the 4, I think. Yes, yes, it is going to be a square plus b square, that is 4 a square t square a square plus b square minus twice a b, that basic formula minus twice a b, that is 2 to the 4 a square t t minus 4 a square t into t, fine. So, ultimately one term, two term, three term, you have to uh, integrate with respect to time. Over here the resistance is something which is constant, so please put it outside, fine. <coughs> so, let me allow to mention this term over here, integrating integrating these terms, integrating these terms with respect to, with respect to T, keeping, keeping R out as constant, fine. Integrating these terms with respect to t, keeping r out as constant, what we will get uh, the heat generated? H is equal to a square t cube upon 3 r, fine. A square t cube upon 3 r. So, if we take a look of this uh, term over here, then a square t cube upon 3 r, so a is the correct answer, fine, because over here it is a square only, not t square. What exactly I am skipping over here, let me mention it. You are preparing for JE mains, mathematics is your one subject, fine. So, integration Why it is important? Reason being, few of you may think, sir, what's the point? Simply mention this, then you mention integrating these terms and then directly you are showing the result. If you are preparing for medical entrance exam, then it was my duty to explain all these terms. But mathematics is your subject, that's why I'm not explaining it. Fine, integration, differentiation, you all are learning. So that's why deliberately I skipped that explanation over here. And at any point of time, if you are finding this discussion difficult, please revise your basics of integration and differentiation, but do not do it in the knowledge of the mathematics teacher, otherwise he will not find it good, fine. Basic results you must have to be comfortable. Then it comes this question. Actually, few years back, this question was asked in JE advanced exam. Now, why I picked this question? Reason is simple. Sometimes few questions they love to ask so that they can check how much comfortable you are in calculations and also in visualization. Even in this year's question paper with which uh, J means with which we also presented uh, explanations and keys and all these things, there were few questions of this category, fine. So, let us try to understand what exactly the problem is. In a cylindrical region having radius r, magnetic field varies with time 
as b is equal to a plus b t ok a is some constant b is some constant but here this time is creating a problem ok o p q this triangle o p q is a triangular loop made up of wire having resistance per unit length lambda now find the current induced in the loop induced i think i should use this different color chalk induced so what exactly required over here required is this induced electromotive force only this will give you uh, induced current now what exactly the basic idea of the problem let's say i have a wire fine and with the help of a wire i created this type of shape triangular shape and then i place this tri triangular shape in a cylinder basically this is upper view you are watching the cylinder from the top that's why you are getting only this circle it is not circle this triangular shape uh, loop is placed inside this cylinder and inside the cylinder magnetic field is varying then you have to calculate the current induced so first you have to calculate this value of uh, induced electromotive force and accordingly we have to find this uh, value of current now what is uh, important over here important is we don't know what exactly the length of this loop so with the help of this angle and with the help of the idea of the Pythagoras theorem we will try to find out the length and as given in the problem per unit length have resistance lambda so let's say the entire length of this wire is 10 units so total resistance is going to be how much that is 10 lambda so what will be the value of the current let me allow to write down uh, v is equal to i r result so what we should mention over here v that is capital e is equal to i into this 10 lambda so i is equal to this capital e upon 10 lambda so this is going to be the approach for this problem now let's try to find out the solution and uh, in these type of questions if any point of time you are finding that uh, the explanation which I am giving is not sufficient for your understanding, you can take the look of your ebooks also because we are providing detailed solution in those ebooks. Fine. Repeatedly I am mentioning it so that you cannot forget it. From triangle OPQ. OPQ. Fine from triangle OPQ, PQ, PQ means this P and this Q. What is the length of this PQ that we are going to discuss and also what is the length of OP that we have to find out. So o, this PQ is equal to root 3 R. Why? What is the value of this angle? And I am not mentioning the value of this angle in terms of tan theta. Fine. So let us say equation number 1 and OQ, OQ is equal to 2r let's say equation number 2 now we have the value of this term we have the value of this term fine in terms of radius r ultimately if we wish we can find out the po value in this uh, triangle fine so from triangle opq pq is equal to root 3r and oq is equal to 2r so resistance yes resistance of loop OPQ OPQ is how much is lambda fine because we don't know the exact length so what we will do add this add this add this and multiply by lambda I think I should use a different color chalk to show you this that is lambda r plus 2 r plus root 3 r and even not a difficult thing very simple fine so this length this length and this length r plus 2 r plus root 3 r so how much it's going to be 
टेक आर कॉमन सो वन प्लस टू दैट इज थ्री थ्री प्लस रूट थ्री फाइन सो लेट्स राइट डाउन दिस वैल्यू ओवर हियर यूजिंग दिस डायग्राम सो आर and don't get confused with this r this is resistance and this r is the radius actually in this diagram uh, when they asked the question it was the term which was slightly confusing so that's why i'm using this r resistance so it's going to be how much r lambda 1 plus 2 3 3 plus root 3 fine so what we can say 3 plus root Three. Okay. Now, in this relation, take root three common. So root three lambda r. How much it's going to be? It's root three in this term plus one. Basic mathematics, but because in last one, two, three problems, I not devoted that much time on mathematics, assuming that you people have mathematics as a subject. so i hope few of you may mind it that why the teacher is not explaining simple uh, terms but you just consider yourself how simple terms we are using over here so explanation or calculation of these terms not required then i induced fine i induced is equal to a by r the same result dv by dt fine now over here what you have to do you have to use this r resistance exactly over here what is the a now a is something that you have to use the basic formula of uh, area of this triangle i am not going to interfere in your that approach simple and then dv by dt what is the variation in b a plus b t so ultimately a is constant without t b is constant with t so we have to take care of this terms fine so i induced is equal to uh, putting aside this a r term what i am going to mention is uh, that is d by d t of this a plus b i don't think it's going to be a difficult task for you da by dt zero db by dt that is only this b fine because dt by dt that is going to give you one so ultimately this value already i explained a is the area fine this triangular formula resistance value i mentioned in front of you and then in differentiation of this term so ultimately you will get it as pi br root 3 Minus one upon twelve root three lambda. Just put the values and get the correct answer. Fine. Just put values. Then this A is the correct option. A is correct option. you can visualize one thing by watching these uh, questions that yes from this electromagnetic induction chapter questions are not very difficult but obviously some sort of integration differentiation or calculation is required now let's say someone is unable to recall the formula of area of this triangle meaningless question and this is something which you are supposed to learn in class 9th and that's why deliberately i skipped it because if you are unable to recall these basic results then there is some problem sorry to say but yes there is some severe problem in your approach please don't do like that fine at any point of time <coughs> so now let's move ahead for the next problem this problem is only a big problem as such this question is simple one how let me decode the question step by step fine i don't want to come between you and your question so let me allow to stand slightly away from your question i hope the entire question is visible to you so just listen my words and put your eyes on to this 
uh, first term that is the figure shows an isoscale triangle just take a look of my hand this isoscale triangle 90 degree wire frame basically it is made up of wire let's say copper or anything with apex angle equal to pi by 2 fine the frame starts entering into the region of uniform magnetic field this here b not changing theta not changing but area is changing why when this much portion inside some amount of induced mf when this much portion inside some more amount when entire portion inside some different induced emf so that's why you can say the problem based upon change in area okay the frame starts entering into the region of uniform magnetic field b with constant velocity v at any time t is equal to zero means when we started observing this experiment at that point of time we start our stopwatch longest side of the frame is perpendicular to the direction of the velocity now they make this problem more simple why just 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 take a look this longer arm is moving like this fine perpendicular to the velocity direction of the velocity if i is the instantaneous current through the frame instantaneous y see as this uh, uh, triangular loop will keep inside keep inside so what will happen induced mf will change will change accordingly your i will also keeps on changing so if i is the instantaneous current through the frame then choose the correct answer which is showing the correct variation of i with respect to time now there are two approaches in this question if you are comfortable with the concepts then just by watching this line you can say correct answer is this how okay take a look velocity is constant uniform variation in the area uniform variation in the area means induced emf uniformly will enhance more the area in more the induced emf so more the amount of current so direct relation is as the wire loop keep on entering with increment in the time the current will increase moment you say velocity is changing then your uh, this uh, graph is going to be changed and c is the correct answer so this is one approach where you need not to pick even a pen just by reading the question properly you can say this relation but few of you may say we don't like this type of approach we love to solve lot of things while it is not advisable in examination hall because in small amount of time you should try to find out the correct solution so for all those people i is equal to b upon a is it like that b is changing no is it like that this area is changing yes so how exactly this variation da by dt means area is changing with respect to time so at any time at any time i is equal to b upon r d by dt of this variation of the area so inside you should simply mention it is uniform fine so if it is uniform so rate of change is also going to be uniform b is constant r is constant so what i should say i should say i is directly proportional to t so now only this graph is correctly representing this variation don't you think it is something this type of relation ohm's law so over here situation is simple so either way i mean if you want to love some calculation you can do these steps if you don't like and if you are unable to if you are able to understand just by watching this catch line constant velocity very good just 10 seconds correct answer is with you so students uh, what my suggestion is these five problems are definitely 
force to think you to revise you and which is our exact purpose in future very soon we will uh, definitely come back with more set of good questions till then keep revising keep enjoying and be focused if you read these type of problems carefully definitely you will save lot of time fine so with this positive note that please keep revising keep watching these videos regularly try your best from our side best of luck till then take care bye bye